therefore we see a lot of refund that is piling with the CBR at the moment. We understand that at present the government is finding it difficult to maintain a balance between the refund sanctioning and the revenue targets. To address this, we can propose that amendments adjustment of last 12 months inputs may be allowed, thereby easing up the refund pressures upon the board. And this is without prejudice to the, to the, uh, uh, to the judgment uh, announced by the tribunal that the taxpayer is at liberty to claim whatever inputs he, he likes and without any time limitation. Next. Post supply adjustments, presently any post supply adjustment which leads to reduction in input tax or increase in output tax is permissible in 180 days. 180 days ka period extend ho sakta with the collector's permission. This is a basic biggest problem for, for many industries as such, which may food being the, the, the on, on the top I believe. Any good with, with, a, with a perishable uh, uh, nature is prone to these problems because adjustments after they, they carry an expiry of say for example one year or two years or more like this and because of this restriction they are not able to adjust their their sales returns in the net so therefore it is proposed that this limit may be altogether eliminated as in the case of the proposed value added tax federal value tax and again uh, this can be guarded by placing certain revenue, uh, certain technological uh, checks or measures to to ensure that no, uh, you see, no fraudulent activity takes place under this garb. Next, refunds. I understand this is the biggest problem at the moment. Not only exporters, but all those sectors who are zero rated or otherwise whose refunds accrue uh, after 12 months carry forward, uh, they are uh, facing this problem. The problem is uh, that apart from the list of supportive documents in the sales tax rules, ho ye raha hai ke law mein ek provision bataya gaya hai ke ye documents refund ke liye verification ke liye zarurat hai. With the passage of time, refund ki jo processing hai, wo software based kar di gai hai. There is a star program governed by the, the FBR jo synchronize karta hai buyers or sellers ki uh, activities ko. The problem arises that when the star system detects certain queries which are all supplier oriented. Yani jo shaks refund lene ke liye gaya hai uske end pe koi problem nahi hai. But jo jis, jis, kar, jis invoices ki base par usne refund claim kiya hai unko dispute kar di jata hai. And then the department requires the refund claimant to furnish the details or accounts or records or returns and etc etc pertaining to his supplier. And there is no, interestingly, there is no provision in the law which provides, which binds the supplier to share this confidential information with the buyer. Hota kya hai? Refunds block ho jate. And today, as of today, hundreds and hundreds of cases are under litigation or they have deferred or they have been blocked only upon this pretext. So what we suggest that either the board may go for overruling on a manual basis or not. There should be a single mechanism for the whole country. There, there is a separate procedure. There was a separate procedure for, for the RTO Karachi and there was a separate procedure for LTO Karachi. Now this is not a problem. It's not a problem in its own software. That is the first part. Number two. If for all means we need to abide by the software, which is which is technically not not a bad idea at all. So therefore, uh, sales tax rules, especially Rule 38, should be amended to provide for for these areas whereby the supplier will be at uh, will be obliged to share his confidential information if asked by the taxpayer, uh, the by the buyer or by the tax department. Next. Presumptive tax assessments. All my friends sitting here uh, would know that there is a provision of section 11, subsection 5, minimum tax liability, which is basically a presumptive tax, which key parameters in the order of 2004. Mein. To date, there was 
uh, there was no problem with this because this was this was all all although this was in the statute book but was not made applicable recently the tax authorities have started making presumptive assessments by creating frivolous demands aur ho kya raha hai usme bhi demand bhi koi meet nahi ho rahi wo frivolous demands hai wo ja ke tax payer jo hai wo stay le aata hai uske baad jo hai rectifications filed hoti hain ye sari exercise ke baad jo hai hum square back to square one ho jate hain so what we suggest that section 115 and the related para 1 of the civil civil order may be deleted at all because the supreme court superior courts have already held that any assessment on the basis of presum presumptions or hypotheses is not tenable next black listing and suspension another area that is that is concerning the tax payers at a large number at present any tax payer may be suspended और मेरा सस्पेशन किसी पर शक हो गया उस की रजिस्ट्रेशन सस्पेंड कर दी रिजल्टली उसके जितने रिफंड्स अक्रू हो रहे थे या उसकी वजह से जिसको रिफंड अक्रू हो रहे थे वो सब ब्लॉक हो गए ऑल दो द लॉ प्रोवाइड सेक्शन 21 रेड विद द रूल्स प्रोवाइड करता है एक पूरा मैकेनिज्म रिजल्टिंग इन एन अपीलेबल ऑर्डर बट दैट इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली नॉट बीन कंप्लाइड विद एट द मोमेंट वॉट वी रिकमेंड टू कर्टेल द अब्यूज ऑफ दिस दिस प्रोविजन we propose that before declaring any person as a blacklisted or suspended the charge for issuing fake invoices or evasion of tax should be established in the order pehle stage pe kam as kam usko mere show cause notice mein nahi usko uh, establish hona chahiye it should be established by the pehli adjudication stage pe us charge ko establish hona chahiye and further agar ye hona bhi hai in line with the dictum of fto and superior courts it should have a prospective application ये नहीं है कि जिस वक्त आपने किसी को ब्लैकलिस्ट कर दिया उसकी तमाम सिंध इंसेप्शन आपने जितने भी रिफंड्स नो अनपेड रिफंड्स एसोसिएटेड थे वो सब ब्लॉक कर दिए सो दिस इज दिस टू माय माइंड इज इर रैशनल एंड शुड बी डन अवे विद नेक्स्ट रिवाइज रिटर्न सेक्शन 26 में ये प्रोविजन है कि अगर इफ इफ यू इफ द टैक्स पेयर फील्स दैट ही हैज मेड सम सम some omissions or wrong declarations he may correct his return within 120 days but unfortunately this is only restricted to his monthly return and is not ap made applicable to special return which is filed by 42 sectors on a monthly basis to ye ye drafting error i would say hai to my mind or isko we propose that it should be corrected by making reference of section 27 in in the relevant subsection of section 26 that is the first part the second part is more i would say horrifying whenever you file a revision application ye ek back door audit ka darwaza khul gaya hai because the law doesn't specify any any benchmark or uh, or uh, parameters ke revision of return mein kya kya documents jama karaye jayenge ki kya mangi ja sakti information kya nahi mangi ja sakti hota kya hai whenever you file a Uh, re revision application a plethora of information comes at your doorstep meaning thereby you are subject to audit sorry to interrupt you uh, we'll, we'll we'll be having magrib press break okay huh? let me just con conclude this and then we can have it so in the first place we suggest that parameters in listing information to be furnished by the tax payer respect of revision returns may be framed i understand rto karachi mein ye ho chuka tha magar it it has to be uh, uh, made applicable across the board that's the first part and number second thing is that we suggest that where there is no the revision warrant no revision has to be there but it doesn't do in, involve any monetary change either in the liability side or the refund side फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैंने किसी कस्टमर का नाम गलत लिख दिया उसकी इनवाइस इन वो नंबर गलत लिख दिया रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर गलत फीड कर दिया गया ये वो एरियाज है जिससे लाइबिलिटी या रिफंड की मतलब मॉनिटरी चंक पे कोई अफेक्ट नहीं होता तो वी प्रोपोज दैट देर शुड नॉट बी एनी सिस्टम फॉर प्रायर अप्रूवल सीकिंग प्रायर अप्रूवल ऑन इफ देर इज नो चेंज इन इन द रिटर्न और द टैक्स लाइबिलिटी और द रिफंड सो वील हैव अ ब्रेक ऑफ मगरब प्रेयर्स एंड देन विल रिज्यूम आफ्टर 15 minutes 15 minutes thank you